What's going down, everybody? It's John, a.k.a. Buff Llama, and uh, I'm doing the NFL Week 3 Picks video right now. So let's get it started. I uh, picked the Chiefs Thursday night, so I'm already 1-0, which is a pretty good sign. I, I was 12, and 12 for 16 Week 1, 11 for 16 Week 2. So I need to improve. Uh, I need to get better. So <laughs> here we go. First game, we got the Texans at the Ravens. I'm picking the Texans in this game. I like Matt Schaub over Joe Flacco. I know it sounds crazy. Flacco just won a Super Bowl. I think he's overpaid, though. I don't like, I don't like Flacco too much. Uh, Ray Rice is out. The defense is demoralized. They're not the same. So I'm picking the Texans in this game. Uh, if Andre Johnson plays, it's really going to help out my uh, help out my psyche. It's really going to help out uh, my pick. Uh, if he doesn't, Andre Hopkins, I think, can step up. He's the second stringer there. Uh, he's a great he's a great wide receiver. As we saw against the Texans in overtime, he came up big. So I'm picking the Texans. Next, we got the Browns at the Vikings. The Browns just traded away Trent Richardson. They got rid of Whedon. Uh, well, he's hurt. They said that he's not the uh, – some executives there already said came out and said, hey, he's not our guy. Uh, so now they're going with – I forget who, what the guy's name is. Um, I, I forget. It just slipped my mind. Uh, he's coming in. The, this this mystery guy's coming in for, for Whedon. Uh, they got Willis McGahee. They just drafted him – or not drafted him, but they just signed him uh, in place of Trent Richardson. Uh, and McGahee, he, he was a big time running back. I mean, he's been in the league for a while now, so I think he can. Uh, I think he can get there and get it done. I think the Browns can win this game. AP is the only person they really have to to watch for. Um, but that Browns defense against the run is is really good. So um, I don't think they have to worry about through the air too much with Christian Ponder. I don't think he's really that great of a quarterback. Uh, a Hoyer, that's the guy's name that came in for Whedon. Um, I think the Browns can win this game, so I'm picking Cleveland. Next, we got the Giants at the Panthers. I'm picking the Panthers. I like Cam Newton more than I do Eli Manning. I like the defense of Carolina better. Um, I just think their offense is just more fluid. I don't, they don't make as much as many mistakes as, as the Giants do. The Giants have been just, oh, my goodness. They have been just completely destroyed by, by just fumbles, interceptions, just all these turnovers and mistakes that they have made. Uh, you know, the Giants are just sloppy, sloppy, sloppy this year. So I'm picking the Panthers. Next, we got the Packers at the Bengals. I'm um, picking the Packers in this game. Aaron Rodgers, I think, if this becomes a shootout, he's got he's got to go up against Andy Dalton, and that's not too big of a task, at least for Aaron Rodgers. Uh, don't get me wrong, Andy Dalton's a great quarterback. A.J. Green's a great, a great. He's a great wide receiver. <laughs> but, um, but Randall Cobb... And Jordy Nelson, those guys are big time. They're, they're big time receivers. So I, I'm picking the Packers in this game. Next, we got the Rams at the Cowboys. I like the Cowboys better than I do the Rams, to be honest. Uh, you know, they just brought, they got in Daryl Richardson now, uh, running the ball for the Rams. Uh, Bradford, he's he's a good quarterback. I'm not gonna lie, he's a, he's a decent quarterback, but. I just think that Cowboys offense can click better. I like Murray at running back. You know, if Des Bryant plays, he's big. Um, you know, and Jason Witten's always going to be a big-time tight end. So um, I just like the Cowboys more overall, and their defense, I, in my mind, is a lot better. So I'm picking the Cowboys. Um, next, we got the Lions at the Redskins. Um, oh man, I want to pick the Redskins because I think RG3 is going to bounce back. I, I'd like to see him do well. Um, you know, he's he was one of my favorite quarterbacks coming out of the draft. Well, there wasn't really too many of that, that people knew, but um, you know, he's he was one of my favorites in last year's draft overall. So, um, I don't know. I, I want to pick I want to pick the Redskins, but I'm going to go ahead and pick the Lions in this game. I think that if Stafford can really get the ball to Megatron, uh, this game's going to get out of hand very very quick. The Lions' defense is good. Um, I, and the Redskins just haven't been clicking. They just they've just looked really bad this year uh so far. Um I know it's only 3 games in or 2 games in so far, but you know, I, I just think that RG3 uh he did miss out on an, on a on preseason, so this is kind of his preseason. He needs to warm up, he needs to shake the rust off, and it really hasn't looked like he's done that so far. So I think there's going to be another kind of feel it out game for him i don't think the redskins are going to get this game i think the lions will so i'm picking detroit next we got the bucks at the patriots um i want to pick the buccaneers really bad but then i remember that the patriots have tom brady um he's he's the same quarterback that he's always been he's a great quarterback you know he's smart with the ball um and he's big time in, in those clutch moments he's a very clutch quarterback but you know when you look at what he has to throw to now 
you know, he lost all of his main receivers now. Um, Gronkowski's out for this game. I don't know if he's coming back next week or the week after. I don't know. He's getting close to coming back. So is Amendola. So those are his two guys that he has now. One and two, the big punches now. Those guys are out, at least for this game. And we saw what happens when you don't have receivers. Look at what the Patriots, you know, look at how they performed against the Jets. It was terrible. They only won by three. Um, so I'm picking the Patriots in this game. Uh, I just think Tom Brady, he could find a way to get it to um, Edelman, which who is his uh, second receiver now uh, outside of Gronk. Um, and Amendola, I think it's his second second guy at wideout. So um, I, I'm just picking the Patriots in this game. I think Tom Brady can find a way to get it done, uh, even though those receivers are just god-awful. Um, next, we got the Cardinals at the Saints. Uh I'm not picking this as the upset game. I don't think the Cardinals in any way, shape, or form can keep up with Drew Brees. I, you know, Brees had a had a shaky game last last week, but I think he can get it done this week. Though the Cardinals aren't are too tough of a team. They've looked very very good actually, but you know, and very improved. But against somebody like the Saints, especially with with Drew Brees throwing the ball, I don't think they can keep up with them. If this, like I said in the in the Packer Bengal game, if this is going to be a shootout. You cannot keep up with Drew Brees, so I'm picking the Saints. Next, you get the Chargers at the Titans. Titans are an up-and-coming team. Uh, they looked great against the Texans last week. Um, it came down to overtime, and they looked really, really good. The Chargers have looked better since that week one loss against the Texans. They've, they've really improved. I'm just going to pick the Titans in this game, though. I think Dalton, uh, you know, whenever he warms up, he can really, really get it done. I like Chris Johnson if he can warm up and if, if he can start getting it going because he's been really slow over the past few years. He, he really has stopped his production. But if he can finally get it going, I think he can he can get a big game. I think he had like a 200-yard game last year, uh, which, was, which was huge. Um, so I'm going to pick the Titans in this game. I think they can beat the Chargers. Um, next, we got the Falcons at the Dolphins. This is going to be my upset of the week. I don't like picking against the Falcons because of Julio Jones and Matty Ice, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Dolphins in this game. I like the way that their defense has improved. Uh, Tannehill really impresses me. They need to run the ball more. Um, they Their running game was just bad last game, or was it the week before? I forget. Um, their running game really hasn't looked too good so far, but their defense has really improved, and Tannehill is really looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Dolphins in this game. Um, next, we got the Bills of the Jets. The two rookies going head to head. I like the Bills better in this game. I really do. I like EJ Manuel better than Geno Smith. He's a he's more knowledgeable when it comes to on the field stuff. Uh, you know, he's he's smart with a ball, and he you know he finds a way to win games. Geno Smith kind of goes out there and tries his best and doesn't seem to really lead the team. He's more of that guy that goes out there and just slings the ball wherever he feels like he should, and that's the end of it. Uh, I think the Bills are just going to win this game outright. I think they're going to be the, well, I think they are the better team. So, you know, I have my faith in EJ Manuel. Next, we got the Colts at the 49ers. I'm um, picking the 49ers in this game. They came off a really embarrassing loss to uh, to the Seahawks. Uh, it was, oh man, it got out of hand pretty quick too. Uh, well, in the second half, you know, they came out and they just started firing left and right. Seahawks really are a great team. Uh, but, you know, the 49ers just coming off an embarrassing loss, so they're going to want to come back and get it done uh, against the Colts. I like Andrew Luck. I like the rest of that offense. I actually like the whole the whole Colts team, to be honest. I think they're a really good team. They're fun to watch. But I think Kaepernick is going to come out, and he's going to get it done with his legs. He's going to he's gonna make some touchdown passes through the air. Uh, you know, I just think that uh, I think the 49ers are going to come out, and they're really going to want this game. They're going to want it really bad. After that, after that loss against the Seahawks, they just they were just completely embarrassed. Uh, so I'm taking the 49ers in this game just off a of pure just uh, payback. I think they it's just backlash for that loss. I think they're going to come out and really really want this game. I think they're going to get it. Next we got the Jaguars, the Seahawks. Um, nothing on this earth would ever ever make me pick the Jaguars. They're the worst team in the league. Uh, they're going up against the Seahawks with the best defense in the league. I don't think the Jaguars even get close to scoring a point. I don't even think they get past midfield. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pick the Seahawks in this game. I would be I would be shocked if they beat the Seahawks. Um, so Jacksonville surprised me. Um, next we got the Bears and the Steelers. 
everything is going right for the Bears right now. They're clicking as a team. Jay Cutler, uh, Mr. Mr. Fourth Quarter is what they're calling him now. You know, he's a clutch quarterback. Whether you want to joke about him on the interceptions or whatever, uh, you know, he's a, he's a really great quarterback. You know, whenever he has time, you know, he's a wonderful quarterback. So uh, I like the way the Bears look. I like their offense, the way that they're clicking with Martellus Bennett and, and uh, Marshall. They're both looking great. Uh, that Bears defense still looking the same. It's looking great like it always been, you know, and they've always been top-notch on defense, and now they seem to tran- to make the transition more towards offense but kind of balancing it out 50-50. I, I really like the way the Bears look. They're a very balanced team now. The Steelers, on the other hand, their defense is really lacking. Their offense really can't produce for whatever reason. They have they have Big Ben. I don't know why they can't seem to get it done. Maybe it's a wide receiver issue, kind of like the Patriots have right now. But, uh, you know, the Steelers, for whatever reason, they just make mistakes. They, they can't seem to score points consistently. So I'm taking the Bears in this game. And then the last game, we got the Raiders at the Broncos. Um, I'm picking the Broncos in this game. I like Peyton Manning. Uh, I like the receivers that he's got. He's got Wes Welker, Demarius Thomas. Uh, and he's got no Sean Marino running the ball. And that, and that defense is no joke either. I respect to Terrell Pryor. I do like the way that he plays. Uh, he's a lot better than Carson Palmer. But uh, the Broncos are just, they're the best team in the AFC right now. I think that uh, the Chiefs can really give them a run for their money in that division. But I think the Broncos overall, at least right now, uh, and it's not saying too much. It's only the third weekend. But I think uh, I think the Broncos are the best team in the AFC. And they're going to come out and they're going to roll the Raiders in this game. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, this week three pick video. Um, I really do enjoy making these. I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. And also, comment below if you want to with your picks. Let me know who you think is going to win. Maybe even the upset of the week. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm out. Peace.